नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ट्रेजर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस मनमोहिनी डिवाइन स्टूडियो ब्रह्मकुमारी शांति सरोवर हैदराबाद में आपका स्वागत है आज हमारे साथ है एक बहुत ही खास मेहमान डॉक्टर काजल कंसल जो सिंगापुर से आए हैं वेलकम सिस्टर नमस्कार सो शी इज एन रिसर्चर इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कंप्यूटर विजन प्राइवेसी एंड रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एट नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंगापुर She has also received Young Researcher Award for her fantastic publications in the field. Research के साथ साथ she is also an expert in karmic philosophy, mental wellness, and transform many clients through her spiritual counseling and emotional engineering. She is also practicing Raj Yoga from past ten years. So, आज का episode बहुत ही exciting होने वाला है, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. uh so dr kajal i am uh, very much excited uh, to have you here and uh, i would like to know that uh, how do you get introduced or interested in spirituality han ji yeah. oh, thank you for the introduction and uh, yes uh, spirituality is a very very good topic and uh, spirituality is actually very very benefited for our life mm -hmm. and uh, being in a profession so as a researcher i was very much into like materialistic kind of world but on the other pay spirituality brings me a balance into that materialistic world so from my childhood like i had lot of question like how this all universe is running out what are the uh like a uh, system uh, which is following and uh, everything is getting mm -hmm. happened so why someone is poor why someone is rich mm -hmm. so these mm -hmm. all kind of question make me very curiosity like brings me lot of curiosity mm -hmm. like uh, there should be something mm -hmm. that uh, we need to search out Hmm. and uh, with this thoughts i came uh, to know about raj yoga meditation okay. so which i practiced over last 10 years uh -huh. and uh, got very good results wonderful sister so so how uh, like you are a computer scientist and it's a bit uh, logical side and spirituality is more based on belief systems and given that very few people in the world they adopt spirituality so how it is exactly helping you uh, yes so actually uh, having a belief system is not a bad thing i can say uh, we name it actually as a spiritual science thing so spirituality also has very good logics which we can follow which we can uh, uh, like prove and uh, uh, this can be named as spiritual science mm. so like in science what we exactly do we make some assumption then we do some experiment mm. then we reach out to the results right. in spirituality we also have some kind of assumption some kind of data mm -hmm. which we can practice and then we, we can do some kind of experiments and uh, we can see actually uh, a real results in mm. this so we cannot say spirituality is far away from science this mm. is actually a very good science I and see. i can say initially in this world there is only spiritual science oh wow wonderful i see that uh, you are uh, uh, since you are a scientist so i suppose that uh, uh, through some experiments or through some practicality you might have been able to accept these kind of facts where we just can't believe everything that we are served uh, so yes. so i so i want to like more curious to know about that do you have any like practical experiences that you want to share with uh, with our audience yes and, uh, uh, sure maybe some experiments that you did uh, you sure so we did lot of surveys to understand like how much people are Uh, moving to the spirituality mm -hmm. and what kind of issues they are facing so uh, during this experiments like there are special type of cameras okay. so where we try to uh, capture aura of the person like uh, this is our materialistic body this is a dense energy which we can see with this physical eyes but mm -hmm. there are lot of energies which we cannot see but okay. there are special time of cameras mm -hmm. uh, by which we can see this uh, subtle energies okay. 
so we asked people to come over and uh, we captured their images so mm -hmm. what we find out like uh, people like who have cancer mm -hmm. so they have very dull aura so this can be represented like in the form of colors the brightness of colors mm -hmm. if they have a very dull aura uh, which means their thoughts uh, are negative and mm -hmm. this is somewhere this is the energy which we are releasing in the environment and this aura gets affected okay. so we experimented over the cancer patient and uh, I myself even experimented yeah. so like uh, before doing meditation and after doing meditation so what I feel in my aura mm -hmm. so previously there was uh, like dull colors but uh, after doing like half an hour of meditation when I again went to that camera then suddenly uh, my aura will get brighten colors Okay. So these kind of experiment will give us more, more and more confidence mm -hmm. that yes, uh, whatever the thoughts you are generating, it really affects your energy levels. And at spirituality, we usually talk about energies. Mm -hmm. And so this is the very dense energy which we can see. Mm -hmm. But there are energies, uh, even uh, we can say in digital world also, there are many energies and waves which mm -hmm. we cannot see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So spirituality always talks about that and we are trying to do uh, experiment over energies. Wow, energies, energies. So, so this sounds interesting, like energies, uh, you're talking about energies and you're also uh, means working in the field of uh, computer vision and all. So how, how do you draw these, how do you handle these two kind of like analogies because this seems a bit diverse from what uh, you are doing in the computer yes. science field. Actually, uh, yes, this thing I can say uh, there is not any diversity mm -hmm. even uh, in the materialistic world, in the profession, mm -hmm. we need energies mm -hmm. uh, to balance our work and I can say these energies I can get from the spirituality, from Raja Yoga meditation mm -hmm. and I can go and consume that energy and again come back to home and then again recharge myself and again using that energy to balance my work life. So I cannot say that uh, spirituality take my time, I can say spirituality give me time. Wow. And uh, also, like majority of people these days, they are facing time management issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, due to that mess, uh, they are not able to focus, concentrate, mm -hmm. and uh, output is also not that much good because of this time factor. Mm -hmm. But when you have very good relationship with yourself, mm -hmm. then you can get to know how you manage all these things. And okay. spirituality is the best way to uh, get all these things. So, so do you have any practical experience of how uh, in your research maybe uh, how this yes. Raj Yoga meditation helped you? Yeah, uh, uh. yes. So let me talk about the time management thing. So during my research also, like I usually uh, do research uh, at very like subtle levels. So it's not like the broader type of research. I usually go into the depth of the research. Mm -hmm. And uh, naturally, uh, like PhD is a thing which take a lot of time. Yeah. Right. Uh, but uh, I try to manage my whole time and mm -hmm. following uh, like the spiritual lifestyle, which uh, give me a lot of energy that I can have control over my thoughts. So there was not any negative thought, waste thought, mm -hmm. which give me uh, like more energy mm -hmm. to uh, introduce positive thoughts mm -hmm. and the responsible thoughts. So by this, I saw like I got around 10 paper publication in five years. And uh, when after finishing my PhD, when I was taking a letter of reference from my advisor, so he also mentioned that uh, Kajal did her experiment in very short span of time. So wow. this was the like he uh, that he also observed that thing that there is a very good time management in doing their experiments. I can dedicate this thing to spirituality. That spirituality taught me how to do this time management. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, that's interesting uh, to listen. So, so continuing this, I I also want uh, like so we are researcher and normal materialistic people. So how how they could like benefit 
or means what kind of practices that they should do so that they can also get benefit uh, from spirituality as yes. yeah uh, so like during my experiences i came across a couple of experiments and i also did on myself mm -hmm. like majority of my uh, experiment was on food mm -hmm. so where like i i tried different kind of food and uh, i uh, actually recorded uh, what kind of state of mind i have while consuming this kind of food uh, okay. so in this like uh, I always like try to have non and no garlic food but in that also we have fried also and uh, we have fruits also mm -hmm. we have just water also we can also have a raw food okay. and when I tried with just raw food mm -hmm. uh, then I started realizing that I can save lot of energy through this hmm. and uh, when I was serving many literature then I came to know that 70% uh, of the energy used mm -hmm. in the digestion only okay. and uh, if you eat like lot of uh, junk food mm -hmm. and uh, this fried food mm -hmm. so it consumes lot of your energy and uh, you also need energy to do your responsible task mm. also work also if 70% is already consuming in the digestion mm -hmm. then l rest is just 30% and in mm. that also you need to manage many things, many things. so uh, can you understand like uh, how energy is getting less and less mm. and uh, uh, that l very less energy you are devoting to the work and uh, what kind of output you can get from that. Right, right. I can relate to that when I eat pizza, how lazy I feel. Yes. So. And uh, why uh, people always run about this thing? Because mm. they don't uh, like understand uh, uh, like what will be the effect mm. uh, of that kind of food mm. because uh, everyone in today's world they just want instant taste instant happiness mm. and uh, uh, this kind of food they have such kind of flavors which can excite your taste buds mm. and uh, you can get that food and uh, generate that dopamine but it <laughs> charges you a lot of energy Right. Digestion energy. Charges you lot of energy. Yes. That's so, so wonderful. In, in the initial period, I uh, used to like get up at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. But after consuming, like I did experiment for 7 days where I just consume raw food. So, so by raw food you mean? Sir? Not cooked food. Okay, these are a combination of yeah, fruits, vegetables. Like fruits, vegetables, salad, hmm. juices. I consumed hmm. uh, like in this way. All freshly uh, made. Right. Okay. And uh, after seven days, I realized I can easily get up at two o'clock. Wow. My body does not need that much of sleep. Okay, you all. don't need a longer sleep. Okay. Right. And uh, after seven days, I also realized I even don't e uh, need that much food. Right. So today uh, mm -hmm. we can see like people they usually uh, want to have longer sleep and mm. uh, uh, many kind of foods right, and uh, right, they think right. that is the just way to recharge your energy. Right. But what I felt uh, after this experiment we don't need that much food and we don't need that much sleep. Very nice. So to summarize the food is having a great impact on our energy level, the physical right. energy level as well as the mental or the spiritual energy levels that you pointed to. Right. So, so, so you also mentioned about uh, water, water thing also. Yes. Uh, so, so here we did experiment with water. Mm -hmm. So we just split water into uh, three uh, containers. So over first water we gave it. Uh, pure thoughts, positive thoughts that you are very good water, mm. I love you water, mm -hmm. these kind of thing. Then for the second container, we mm. give negative thought, I hate you water. Uh, and th for the third, it was in the normal temperature and uh, nothing. Uh, okay. So then after this, we send it to the lab. So there okay. they checked the precipitates of the water. Then they okay. realized that uh, the positive water where we have given positive thought, it is giving a beautiful structures, uh, like some changes into the flower like mm -hmm. structure, some changes into the very beautiful uh, combined structured. And the one uh, where we have given negative thoughts, it uh, suddenly splits. Uh, and very bad precipitates mm -hmm. and uh, the another one it was in the middle 
so from here uh, what we observe that uh, water food these all thing observe energy okay and uh, what we are giving uh, thought is the form of energy actually it is yeah. observing that energy and when it is going into the body then again it is actually oh. making that kind of precipitates inside the body okay okay i see uh, that's why uh, is there any uh, connection with of water with like religious uh, things as well where uh, we used to put water while chanting or any religious activity uh, uh, so yes yeah. so uh, that is also like uh, uh, we used to have example of ganges that you can go to the ganges uh, it can make you pure but what can make you pure that thought okay that uh, having a dip into the ganges that can make you pure but uh, the actual energy is in the thought that make you pure okay i see so what is very powerful right okay. so after these experiments we got to know that thought is actually very mm. powerful and thought is the seed mm. and after that when you like continuously watering that seed mm. then at the end you will get the fruit okay and uh, this is actually law of karma yeah. also and in the uh, newton's third law we also see that at every action there will be equal and opposite reaction reaction this is also law of cause and effect whatever you will do you will get the same excellent so what kind of thoughts you are generating it will come back to you to at you. some point of life so sister actually uh, it's it's very interesting uh, but uh, sometimes uh like my uh, so i also do research so my research fellows they have at some point of time hot burning questions uh like that okay we understand all this knowledge and everything we understand but how do i implement it means whenever the situations real life practical life situations comes in how do i actually implement it so they always suffer from this kind of like uh a uh, synchronization you can say that okay knowledge is there but implementation uh, is the part which we are not able to do and and a quick follow up question uh, on the top of that that uh, uh, what are the best practices that you will uh, recommend them to like uh, start with uh, like any form of let's say spirituality or meditation you said yeah yeah right so i can say to the youth like uh, it's just kind of habit so if you want to make new habits uh, so first you have to do attention like what kind of habits you want to rid off and uh, is uh, do you really want to rid off or uh, uh, not and yeah. then you can do just a small experiment with your energy suppose mm. uh, you are facing some uh, situation uh, like you want to change your food habit okay okay so the uh, like i have a friend uh, he was uh, usually go to cafe and uh, usually have a burger mm -hmm. and so what he did so he want to change that habit mm -hmm. so what he did at the first place he just replaced that burger thing uh, with salad okay. so mind uh, won't able to uh, differentiate into that that mm -hmm. is the uh, that there is any change or not mm -hmm. and after some time he speak, skipped that too okay so uh, initially he just like started with a little change and mm -hmm. then by the time uh, his body adapt to that change and uh, Uh, he just okay with that so it's just like very small input hmm. from your side hmm. and just continue to that and you will get result but some of my friends they also say that why do we change like uh, why how do we shift from uh, we see that how do we shift from burger to like salad but what if i myself does not have a motivation to like shift from burger to uh, salad so what could be the pressing factor that that is matlab for you what was that turning point where you actually decided upon okay i want yes. to just uh, so, shift there means given that you right. learned all the knowledge and everything right mm -hmm. so yeah. here knowledge plays a very important role i can say mm -hmm. so if you get to know whatever you are consuming it is coming from a garbage mm -hmm. uh, will you consume that <laughs> no no 
no this is just there is lack of knowledge they don't know that how harmful it is for your body mm. and this body is your responsibility actually mm. and once you get to know like i am feeding garbage to the body mm. once that acceptance will be there and uh, that knowledge will be there he will easily leave that mm. it's just and uh, what is the uh, even we always uh, refer it as junk food what right. is the meaning of junk once yeah. they get attention of that that right. this is what junk right right and uh, <laughs> we are creating our dopamine with the help of mm-hmm. junk right so yeah it's just mm-hmm. a knowledge thing right 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 very very true sister i can also relate to that uh, okay some people say that uh, uh, till the time they will not get uh, any disease or some uh, like right. external force to change some habit they are not ten- towards changing any habit yes so. actually universe gave us this body this body has very good immune system i can mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. and a lot of potential mm-hmm. uh, to fight against all the diseases but at mm-hmm. some point of time it also has limit right so what kind of actions we are doing and mm. what kind of food we are feeding to the mm. body it plays a very big role mm-hmm. and uh, in the initial phase universe always try to give you warnings right uh, so in the form of some pain or some alert kind of thing right. and uh, if you again don't stop then it will come like a big disease right so right right this is how you have to pay attention over your karma basically what right. kind of action you are taking right and what are the impacts that it will have yes. our, and upon spirituality you. actually taught us this only uh, that uh, how to do right karma oh, and karma okay. is not only this action level uh, there is a speech level also and the thought level also that's why god always says uh, think before you think Oh wonderful Be- that's because, a very nice line yeah think because before you think yeah okay. because yeah. seed always start from here right. and after getting water and uh, continuous seeding mm. it it just appear as a fruit and then you have to take that fruit you <laughs> won't get any option to right. read from that fruit <laughs> true 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 yeah yeah so sister uh, uh, to, so towards the and i want you to just give us like few buzzword or maybe in just one or two words uh, uh for our audience that how can they start with spirituality so what i would like to recommend that uh, knowledge is there uh, like you can follow the books and raj yoga meditation knowledge is there and uh, self relationship self knowledge once you get into the self relationship mm-hmm. you will try to nurture yourself and uh, then you will f- uh, full your battery and mm-hmm. once your f- a uh, battery gets full then you need not to seek anything from outside mm. and then energy will always like flow from uh, uh, if, like from inside you to the outer world and mm. your happiness peace the original virtue of soul will not uh, like dependent over the outer world it will come from inside you there is a source uh, by which you can experience that right all right, the virtues right. of soul Right. so self relationship is very very important nice so during this session i can also feel a uh, <laughs> lot of energy from you to <laughs> get transfer actually uh, in me and uh, hopefully the audience as well so yeah we learned a lot of things about food water self relationship virtues love peace happiness through which we can make our life better and uh, 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 yeah today from all these questions we learned that it's possible to actually being a spiritual person being in the materialistic world and dr kajal is the perfect example for that thank you dr kajal for your valuable time and uh, i hope the audience would also ponder over your thoughts and uh, they will also apply spirituality in their uh day to day life so thank you everyone and uh, for more interesting episodes more interesting videos stay tuned to our brahma kumari shanti sarovar youtube channel we will come up with more exciting videos and then upcoming episodes thank you om shanti <laughs>